Nachman brings down a story of the Baal Shem Tov, the Holy Baal Shem Tov. And the Baal Shem Tov was about to daven, he started to pray, and he became overcome with confusing thoughts regarding his pipe. We'll go into this in another class, but yes, the Baal Shem Tov had a pipe, and he smoked with the pipe, for whatever reasons, and he would light the fire using oil, an oil lamp made from chelev. Chelev is what's called the forbidden fat. You have in a kosher animal fat which is permissible to eat, edible fat, and you have fat which is forbidden, as outlined in the Code of Jewish Law, which are the fats that are forbidden to eat and they must be discarded, and which are the kosher usable fats. So he would light his pipe using an oil lamp made from the fat which is forbidden. So he's about to daven, about to start praying, and the thoughts kept on attacking him. You're not allowed to use forbidden fat to light as a candle from it, the, the pipe. And the thoughts kept on bothering him. As much as he tried to daven, the thoughts were just confusing him. So suddenly, before, like the, 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 while he's trying to daven, the Baal Shem Tov swore, he took an oath, I will now on forever, whenever I light my pipe, only use a uh, forbidden fat oil lamp <laughs> and all the confusing thoughts disappeared and was able to daven and it was a known thing that the Baal Shem Tov lit his lamp for the pipe the, the pipe he used using an oil lamp made from forbidden fats so first of all if you look in the code of Jewish law there are leniencies if it's an indirect, what's called hahana'a, indirect benefit, so even then, chalev, there are opinions that can be lenient and relied upon, which is what the Baal Shem Tov did in this case, for lighting, it's called the second degree grama. We're not going to go into that, obviously, but in the halacha it's discussed, it's not a direct usage of the forbidden fat, but it's for something else. The pipe, after lighting the candle, direct would be using the light of the candle made from the oil of the forbidden fat. Here he's using the candle to do for something else, to light a pipe. So because it's a second level, there are leniencies for that. We won't go into that right now. The point is, Rabbi Nachman brought down this story, is that sometimes Yitzhara uses the truth itself to bring you down. Like in this case, the Baal Shem Tov wanted to dove in, and the subconscious Yitzhara was attacking him. How could you light your pipe <laughs> with a forbidden fat oil lamp? And, and he's trying to dove in now. He's trying to do something which is good, which is for Hashem, which is for sure something very high, davening which stands at the pin pinnacle of creation. And the Yitzhara is using this valid attack using the Torah. How could you use an oil lamp, forbidden fat, and attack the person? And the Baal Shem Tov got the trick of the Yitzhara, that he's using the Torah itself to prevent him from davening. So what did the Baal Shem Tov do? He jumped in all the way. I swear from now on, no more for, I, that only, I'm going to only use a forbidden fat lamp. And he shut up totally the subconscious attacks of the Yitzhara. And it's a tactic where the Baal Shem, Rabbi Nachman was trying to illustrate that sometimes you're going to need this. That something minor attacks you and, and drives you nuts. How could you do like this? You should do like that. And, and you, it, 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 you, you, don't, you don't pay attention, but it's taking you away from some higher devotion. So there are times when you have to be smart and just agree all the way. Okay, you want all the money? Here's all the money. Bye. Leave me alone. You have to sometimes use this tactic to get Sarah because he's trying to get you confused. How could you, this and that? So you give in all the way. You're right, here it is. Now leave me alone. And you can go on. And it's an amazing tactic. And you see in life that this happens from time to time. This attitude. And this is the what Rabbi Nachman is suggesting should be done. Jump in in order to shut up the attack of the accusations of the evil side. <laughs>